What's up guys? This is the Roastman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So, to pick up where we left off, uh, on one hand we're expanding ever so slowly um, in the Americas and then we are also building up our strength back home. So we're doing we've got two main aims at once here. We're trying to build up our strength and upgrading our economy in India as well as incrementally expanding our uh territory in the americas so we know we want to attack britain here in jamaica but they've got a whole bunch of troops so i think now might be the time to bring in a second army to support dilip akurtika and we, what i mean boost i don't mean recruits uh a local force because my recruitment choices are terrible and that's why we have so we're going to use this guy for he is going to recruit a force to sail to india oh, actually, i should probably just send you to be honest you're one of my premier generals with a force that's probably quite adequate uh we do we yeah, actually you're probably good enough to send it instead in their stead rather uh don't want to move the sloop don't have any spare sloops these are fourths yeah Got good fleet elsewhere. Okay, I'm going to pick up a first a, another sloop, then send this force over to the Americas to support my attack. Apart from that, run 29,000 a turn, which is quite good. We're making doing a lot of trade. Uh, Prussia is being blockaded. Not that we can do a lot about that. Building up another navy here. But we've got another navy on the west coast, which is um, so I've got good trade in the east indies and there's not a lot i can do about these because these are all owned by other friendly nations so i'm probably yeah it's the straits of madagascar is, is the target because we've also got portuguese fleet here and a dutch fleet here so once this west coast fleet is repaired they'll be going off to the trade theater but apart from that steady as she goes keep investing keep exploiting the peace that we have crack open the fortress that is jamaica then we can move on to cuba and to be honest I could probably deal with having one of my a bigger fleet in the americas than i currently have i've got a small fleet of a couple of fourth rates and so on but i need an actual army of shooters that can actually sink enemy fleet especially when the dutch are apparently so strong they've got lots of from what we can see of cuba they've got an army embarked aboard the ships Ooh. sorry Persia you're getting declared on I am not having a full stack of troops so close to my frontier if you don't I was gonna say if you don't declare on me I'm declaring on you and I'm not gonna call anyone in it's just you and me you can proceed you can declare my doom as much as you like but this is it the push is on this is why I've been spending so much money on my economy it's so I can at the drop of a hat just go right we're attacking you we've also have got to attack a few british stacks that are actually in our way that's part of the the extra demand put on our troops Twenty-five thousand. yes we need to attack well we can attack this fleet we can attack this force with you guys then once that's done mr yamredi can then advance and attack kabul because i don't want to leave this area unguarded because if i attack push them back well if i advance push back this British stack they could possibly just go whoosh, and then just start raiding all my stuff which is super annoying so cotton weavers uh, cotton weavers cottage sugar warehouse commercial basin water powered cloth mill lots of really good stuff to have upgraded um, but I did say I was going to build another sloop I mean this fleet well you're not going to be don't really need to fight that because it's just a fifth in a brig. Didn't lose any ships. I'm going to take the brig into my service. Actually, I can use that brig to transport my troops. Cancel the construction of the sloop. Send back all the nails. This brig, Safi, can guard the port while you men embark 
aboard the sloop. See, so in, in, in regular Empire, you have to worry about not sending weak ships everywhere. Weak fleets everywhere, with troops embarked, because they can be too easily sunk. But in Darth Mod, your movement distance is so large, it's not as much of a problem. Reemen repair. Ceylon needs upgrades. Okay, so... You're still recruiting, which is great. Yes, sir. I want to see if I can buy Naroon from the Ottoman Empire. Demand region send. If I offer them a cool ten grand, I mean they really didn't like that. Offer a cool 10 grand. Plus. Oh. They got a lot of good tech, actually. Okay. No, they're not going to do it. Um, I don't want to declare war on them. Eventually we will. Once I take Kabul, Zahid, and, and take Persia, they will eventually hate us and declare war on us in Europe. But until that happens, let's not push it. Upgrade steam pumped gold mine, because that's a fantastic purchase. Create this iron workshop. Could probably stand to upgrade this brothel to a pleasure garden. I don't really need any artillery and such yet. Such like over there yet. There we go. You men can guard. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, next turn you guys can get over there and make sure they don't <laughs> they don't cause too much aggro. Oh, I remember what I have to do. I'm also recruiting population to garrison the towns. Well, I mean, they all they should have I should have converted them all. Yeah, I did. They just really don't like us. Trade we raided. Not a problem, Portugal. Yeah, it's over here in Havana. They've got a good number of troops. Religious unrest. Oh, it's slowly building. I suppose Port Royal is a, is a larger town, so it's taking more time, but hopefully that should grow. We've got 11 grand, so let's start that off with taking Mr. Kadali, although I could definitely do with better artillery. I mean, I won't need it for this army, but for the follow up. So let's attack. This British militia army. Hopefully they retreat back to the city and then we can fight them both two on one. And then take Afghanistan. Then we'll push through, secure Zahedin, advance on towards Esfahan. And then hopefully push forward up to the Ottoman borders to make sure that we don't uh, leave ourselves exposed. No clever tactics here gun them down swarm around the flanks with melee troops hitting everyone they meet so many melee troops make sure my kizobashi cavalry are firing well off not kizobashi yeah it's kizobashi Get my general on his elephants involved. Yeah, they've got a big front line. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna tear through their militia. My artillery focus on their general. Try and assassinate their commander. Well, is it assassinating if you fire a cannon at him? I mean, they kind of know who did it. I mean, you will need more artillery to break fortresses. 
but for now shells inbound here they come oh they must not have followed my order yeah my battle line's pushing up my camels and my cavalry are going to go both attack the fourth regiment there's only so many of them we can kill because we've not got lots of cavalry So my cavalry in first with my camels up behind. Give my melee infantry what orders to charge. There we go. My men fire by rank into the militia lines. Oh, someone did some teleporting. There you go, their sensors collapsed. So you go for them. You go for them. You men get raised charged down into the center. Keep on attacking. Yeah, you guys push through the buildings, I suppose. You men keep hacking away. This colonial militia unit. Indian musketeers charge down the line. You want to be careful here because they do have stakes. Charging down into the enemy militia ranks. You men pivot, take that into account. Push my melee infantry forward. Get one of my units to get you guys to attack the militia. You men attack 20th. Just to shatter them, then we'll redeploy them. She pikemen attack the militia. You may attack the militia. Bring my general over here, careful to avoid the stakes. Send two units to sandwich the general. My dervishes can attack the 15th. I mean, this unit of militia is going to be awfully upset. So they're shattered. Oh no, you guys hit stakes. Very unfortunate. I think that generally goes the enemy army. Probably not going to do that much more damage chasing them down. No, you guys all charge on into that unit of militia, everyone else. Push through. Artillery ceasefire. But imagine being the 19th, seeing so many men running and knowing that all the people that made them run are heading your way. Comes the 104th Dakili. The you men crash into this large formation here. Swords held high. Nice. Beautiful destruction. Obviously, one unit came back.
send my general in. There we go, they broke in the end. Let's just call in there rather than... Rather than blowing our men out too much. That sounds really weird. Oh, the entire army's destroyed. Excellent. So now that army's actually destroyed, you chaps can push on to Kabul. Which their army is just completely, completely depleted. You guys can actually come down and cover the bridge. You're going to want to attack that force, but I want to see... Well, first of all... I, mean, I shouldn't have demanded the surrender of them, really. That was a bit of a short-sighted move. Should have just attacked them, but now at least we get visibility on what's actually ahead of us. Especially when, to be honest, they're also depleted anyway. It's not a massive problem. We can bring this force up without worrying. You don't need to do any happiness work, although you might. No, actually, the fact that Britain is there is keeping Lahore artificially happy from the resistance to foreign occupation. Um, in which case, then, yes, we do want to upgrade the pleasure gardens. Okay, cool. And let's upgrade this water power cloth mill, because that's always good. Up to 25,000. So lost a bit of income there, because the Ottomans are now under siege. Okay, still seems overall okay to me. Okay, this is true. These are troops going down to the army in the south to rebuild their strength. I mean, I think Britain must be a bit uneasy about the fact that we just destroyed an entire army of theirs. Not a single man lived to tell the tale. The Prussians have crossed over into, into Anatolia. That's really quite exciting because it means that they may eventually push and attack the ottomans and i really i'm i quite like the idea of playing a late game european superpower as an indian faction i think the possibility is there for something quite interesting especially because i don't i can't actually use quicklime unless i build mortars and i don't like using mortars so you've got if we see it's light infantry doctrine so you've gone on to diamond formation, which I'm not so bothered by. I'm more bothered by platoon firing to get the plus one management and plus one training level because we're going to boom our army soon. Addresses upgraded. Ordnance factories have been upgraded. I mean, I want to keep... I want to just do spend a bit of capital on upgrading my, in, my military buildings just so I have the ability to uh, quickly attack... We'll quickly expand my army with decent units. So you're going to push out of Kabul. You actually don't mind me that much. I might recruit some dervishes to garrison the town. I might maybe push this agent up to the, the front here just to get some visibility on what's going on. Workers on strike in the Leeward Islands. I completely get it. Because three units of peasants effectively aren't enough to earn your respect. You need to see, yeah, Tufangi are technically better because they're cheap. They're slightly cheaper to recruit and cost the same. Okay, let's get some more fifths. Then, when you're ready, you're going to sail up towards Bandar Abbas. You're okay. Two or two, to be honest. This army is so depleted, I might just auto it. Because look at it. That's ridiculous. Come on. We lost a bunch of troops there, but that's okay. Plenty more where they came from. So let's try and upgrade the farmland. Let's try and get some of Kabul's villages to grow. I mean, it won't really, they won't really grow until these armies have been pushed out of our territory. Upgrade this mine. 
you can probably stand to upgrade actually. So let's get a unit of Pahi. Let's get a unit of native lancers. Kizobashi cavalry. Maybe one more unit of artillery. Let's try to get 12 pounders because they're slightly closer. Four spaces left, and that's realistically probably going to be two of you and two of you. Actually, no, we need melee infantry. We've only got. I oh know, we've got four. That's pretty good. But I might actually get rid of one of each and go for two dervishes. Just to add a bit of mass. We've got some quite exquisite melee infantry. Let's add some uh, slightly cheaper units. An upgrade of this. Jabrit Yadam Yadam ready. That's this guy. He is pretty good general. But when these armies are complete, they're both going to push against this concentration of troops here. You're, you may as well attack the British to the south. Then push towards Zahedin. That will be a... Well, there's a couple of British armies in the territory, so we'll be able to knock them out one at a time. But then that will be another front against the Persians, but by the looks of it, they can't really afford to support a large army. There's a lot of depletion all over the place. So let's deploy my musketeers, my gunners can stay back here on the higher ground. back one unit as a bit of a reserve we're going to oh, two units as a bit of a reserve actually let's put them on the left with the unit of Kizilbashi on the flank We've got a lot more cavalry in this army than we did in the other so then you two Oh no, you're okay. Yeah, we can push you around the flanks, that's okay. I always have to ungroup and then group to get them to deploy exactly where I want. Moving slightly over to the left, but that's okay because melee troops are incoming as are cavalry. And they're going to be a bit knackered when they get into position, but I'm not bothered about that. Our forces are going to have so much momentum, we're not that interested in how well they're positioned. Let's retarget the guns in the centre, because the flanks are more likely, well they will, get charged by my Islamic swordsmen, my pikes, and my other Islamic swordsmen. We don't, we do have cavalry stakes to be aware of. Send two against the centre, one against the flank. Because the centre may involve these three units, but hopefully they're going to try and bayonet charge us, so get a volley off at least. Our flanks are doing good work. Got to be careful of the stakes. Where's my camels? You try and go after the general. Bash into the 42nd. They're gone. Bash into the 34th. They're gone. Everyone roll, roll through the attack. Get the cavalry to advance quickly towards the enemy rear. 
Shattered, shattered. Just broken. You men pivot, everyone except the cavalry. Just get over here, roughly. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Just broken. So let's try and thread these guys through some stakes. Yeah, this is part of the challenge, but operating cavalry like this. Infantry don't have to worry about where stakes are. They just go right through them and over them. Try get through. See, this is what they're trying to do. But to be honest, the rest of their force is Dunzo. See, look, they're staying the other side of the stakes. And as the rest... Nope. Stay away from the stakes. That's my artillery. It's just overshooting and hitting my camels. Pull away. There we go. Camels will beat the general's bodyguard. And these men are attempting to protect their general. You men all charge the militia because these Islamic swordsmen have just taken a volley at close range. Clo close to range? Ah, they've got swords! There we go. There goes the general. There goes that infantry unit. And when these guys elect to pack it in, which they will once this Islamic Swordsman unit charges them in the rear. Stabbed him. That's their officer. Get him! They're falling quickly. And it's going to get worse. There goes their officer. Oh, the numbers drop so fast if you keep attacking them. Because all the men inside the combat just don't exist anymore. Let's try to thread you guys through. Oh, I've already threaded you guys through. General's recovered. See, they all keep coming back. That's the annoying thing, is that when you break a militia army, there's nowhere for them to go. So they all then... Well, it's difficult to convince men to pursue. Because you need to use your cavalry to just keep pushing them everywhere. General's bodyguard is shattered. I mean, they're both shattered, so they're not going to come back. Good, these guys broke as well. As did these guys. Soon. Slaughter them camels! You're adding many British skulls to your record. Excellent. There we go. So, the push is on. Lost 377 men, killed 2,930 of theirs. So you men shouldn't... There we go. Shouldn't suck up our budget to replenish. Repair the farm. Although these guys may scatter. Be you advance into enemy territory. And let's hit end turn. <laughs> I've been instructed. No. I know what. I know what. Counter offer. I 
I will accept peace for Baluchistan. Baluchistan, I will pay you my entire treasury. Refuse. I want your territory, sir. I don't want you to use it as a springboard for further attacks. The end will be near, my friend. You're going to lose your Indian territory. We're going to lose your territory in the colonies. Because I would have been willing to forgive Jamaica their sins and allow your armies to live. However, not at the cost of my own territorial integrity. Ah, oh, the colonies. That's right, Persia. Figure out what you're going to do, because you know I'm coming for you. They they actually, they got, they're they all going to withdraw to the capital. It's pretty handy. But we're going to harass them all the way there. We're going to keep our sword in their back. But that's what I wanted to see. Fleet arrives, because you can then scoot into Antigua and deploy your army. There we go. So we're ready. We're ready. Rice farming upgrades. 25,000. Yeah, go on. Just add a bit of extra happiness. Why not? Look at me. I'm making people happy. Stay to the north, but continue the, the push. New chaps continue to push the road. This agent infiltrate the army to maintain visibility and see if they continue to advance in one clump. Don't attack the coaching in because we might need it. Although we could raid it to see if we can... Oh, I didn't raise anyone here. Push around to the south. I won't be able to force them to re to rebel, but I might make it untenable for them to move this force out of Zahedan for fear of rebellion. Pity Osman. Congratulations, sir. You are the commander of this fleet. Let's probably sprinkle some fourths in as well. <laughs> Your troops, sir. That's your Gurkhas on the way. Okay, let's go for two kids or actually four Hindu musketeers. Let's get a war elephant. I mean, I'm probably gonna need more, much more artillery to fight in Europe. That's what I expect to see is. But what I'm expecting to happen is we're going to find a lot, get a lot of trouble from uh, European units just able to shred our own formations with ease. Yes, my lord. By your say, Excellent. We've got two dervishes and we got must have something somewhere else being recruited. Yep, there we do. So in the Americas... I mean, we're still waiting on a, both the resistance to foreign occupation to go down and for our irregulars to hold the territory. But we're close. Get too too fangy. Upgrade the commercial port to a commercial base. It's probably better to upgrade the cotton weaver's cottage for now. Aggressive attacker. Good. You're a good general. 2,000. What can we do for 2,000 gold? I'll just upgrade the madrasa to a state madrasa because then that'll be the end of that. You're still converting. I just want to get rid of the religious unrest across the board. Okay, cool. 
Everything else is looking pretty good. Ah, your fleet is now ready. Sail to the East Africa Trade Theatre. And can we build... Oh, to be honest, next turn, that, that alone is probably a good enough trading fleet. Yes, allow the Dutch to continue doing Dutch things. Yeah, the Ottomans have got a lot of issues. I am aware that... Wait, are they attacking, are they attacking Persia? It looked like they were attacking Persia just for a split second. I mean, it'd be awesome if they did, but could cause problems. Well, I suppose it won't. In the long term, we are going to declare war on the Ottomans. They're our gateway to Europe. I should be recruiting many more armies, honestly, in India. To fuel that advance. <clears throat> Just a second, everyone. Need to quickly sort something out. Radio, and I'm back. Um, and yes, so twenty six thousand. Ah. We researched free trade doctrine. That's pretty significant because that means that we can now upgrade ports to global trading companies. So I'm not going to do the too much of that. I'm probably going to try and stick it, leave it to one per turn. A fleet arrives. Yep. You're over here, so let's go down after Portugal. It's only one ship. A brig. So it should sink it. There we go. 37 hundo. Got a good amount of trip. There we go. More troops. So hopefully this turn... We can leave the island. They're down to minus one, which means next turn they'll be fine, which means we can attack. Good. Okay, cool under fire. Oh, that's you. Didn't take any... No, we did take damage. It's only when you're trading it shows your flag in full condition, in full health. You keep on pushing. Well, both of you guys just... Oh, they are. yeah, they are. Not ideal. Because they're going to beat us there. Get both these armies just to go straight there. In case the, en the enemy decides to prevaricate a bit. I mean, they've got a garrison, but it's probably not going to be able to beat... Well, they've got organ guns. Well, they know we're trying to spy on them. But I'm okay with that. Let's upgrade the gunnery school to an ordnance council. Yeah, we're upgrading one of you this turn. Boost our artillery... Well, boost our military production. Let us recruit another general. Arindam <laughs> Vatsavai. Stay near a made a bad. Let's go artillery heavy with you. Because I am anticipating the Europeans being a bit of a problem. Okay, that's... So I'm happy with that being a trade fleet. Just get over there. Excellent. So we have no money, so when I attack, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it um, over here, but it should be a good battle. 
It says leave the sloop here. Split my forces up. I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference. Excellent. Deploy on the eastern side of the island. Yeah, there's the Dutch forces. We are at war with them, so we don't want to... This is, the, this is part of the reason why I didn't want to leave my ships alone. It's because, obviously, these guys can't fight the Dutch fleet. So you will have to retreat. So now, our armies are there. Ready to fight. Ready to fight against a large number of enemies. That should be pretty awesome to kick off next turn. You keep on pushing. Yeah, it looks like they're desperately trying to fall back to the capital. If the Ottomans elect, if the Ottomans take Persia, we will declare war on them. We will push and take Narun, and then begin offensive actions against Esfahan. Uh, this fleet, when it's done, will blockade Bandar Abbas to prevent enemy troops from being deployed from the Gulf. But let's see if Britain attacks us. I mean, they almost certainly will. Ah, oh, you've gone around us. Frustrating. But they didn't attack us in Jamaica. Interesting. They appear to want the defender's advantage, which is completely understandable. But I don't want them to have it. Don't make me destroy you. Oh, go on, put Persia win. Oh, to be honest, I might just declare war on them now. Um, if I advance into their territory and they win, we'll just get teleported back out to the boundary, and I really don't want that. I may as well just keep attacking. Maintain my advance. And things should be pretty good. But there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More troops retreating. Ooh, the Ottomans lost that battle. Good. No declaration of war yet necessary. Workers on strike in Punjab. Ooh. Very well. I'm not sure who the... Who is technically the best at suppression for this army? I don't think can skirmish was garrison policing bonus for the royal for the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. No, what a waste! Do the elephants do well? No, they don't. Okay. Build levy. Build levy. The brothel's going to be upgraded in one turn. Srinagar upgrade, and then to the east. Build two fangy that we can send over to Lahore on mass prob might not actually help you're able to cover this crossing as well which is good yeah see they've just gone a we've gone the opposite ways pretty much so you continue to advance towards the hedon we can take the territory and win in J Jamaica, we might be able to make peace. I think Jamaica's the last... No, Nassau is still British. Okay, good. So my trade fleet, get over here. Get on the point. You men wipe out this uh, Persian fifth. 
take the fleet and take the ship into our service and just join our trade fleet Ooh, good ships my ships are a bit knackered go repair and hope they don't try and attack my other fleets <laughs> should have gone for them really off the bat oh well okay so we've finally skipped a turn well not skipped a turn finished a turn so grade one global trading company your recruitment you're going north you've got one war elephant unit on its way let's get one more unit of artillery and maybe a better infantry unit Royal Indian Infantry Guards are probably a good shout. Okay. Your fleet's near as damn it done, so sail up to Bandar Abbas. Cancel that, build an Admiral's flagship first rate and a first rate ship of the line. Don't raid the port, because we want them to have money to defend against the Ottomans. So then the only thing to do... ...is attack the British. I mean, we outnumber them, because we've got a bunch of very good units. But let's go and attack this British contingent here and destroy all of the troops currently sat on Jamaica and hopefully, just hopefully, not need to call in our reinforcements. I'm hoping I can uh, not call in my second army and leave them in good condition for the follow-up punch. Either against, well it will be against the city and it will draw in whatever they've got left. So we're going to play cautiously two hindu musket units in the center got a bugged unit here okay got a lot of indian infantry guards here Not super ideal, and I don't want Kizobashi out on the flank either. Good. You guys are okay. On the left, we've got Sikh Musketeer. Plus two Indian infantry guards. It's quite an elite flank, really. So roughly spread my cavalry out fairly neutrally and my melee contingent is quite strong so put a Sikh warrior behind the Kizobashi because they're normally a cavalry magnet I want to protect the guns and then I've got pikes on either flank to deal with enemy cavalry then my general in the center Horse artillery, in, in, in fortified horse artillery, isn't ideal. Let's just try and make my artillery attack some of the other positions. When the time is right, send cavalry around to sweep their guns. But only when the time is right. only have to keep our cavalry alive our artillery alive until we can sweep around the flanks but it looks like they are aware of their of the artillery mis mismatch although yeah you're you men are pounding the troops at the front so let's push up my left flank because they're actually getting into a position to allow us to make that flanking attack. Let's push up my pikes against the Colonial Dragoons because they're actually starting to leave their 
their own flanks exposed. The militia aren't going to be a massive issue. Although I am going to canister them. Because we don't want to lose too many men too quickly. We're not going to be too aggressive in the pursuit either. Hindu musketeers form square. Pikes charge the cavalry. Oof, they charge my guns without me really seeing. Or charge towards my guns without me seeing. Okay, there go unit of militia. There we go. Canister shot. They will outshoot me to a certain degree. But only to a certain degree. Other than that, artillery is still king. Yeah, don't bother about the cavalry. Yeah. Let's run my pikes to keep so they keep up with the cavalry. Lots of any routing enemy units. Yeah, they will outshoot my infantry, so my artillery support is very, very important. Send my cavalry out on the flank here. Looks, we, looks like we do want to try push the enemy. Yeah, their cavalry's attack mine, but that's okay. Pikes, get in here. Once so we've swept the enemy dragoons. Well, actually, I could probably do that now. Get my light cavalry out of the fight. set my pikes against the militia withdraw the cavalry withdraw the pikes let the artillery do the work make my cavalry keep attacking the guns again this is Awkward, especially when they decide to my cat my pikes decide to swing straight into the stakes. Okay, there we go. So the enemy reinforcements coming in from our right flank, kind of the, the worst flank. Validate my front lines. Keep the canister shot going. One gun team gone. The you men, pikemen chase down the cavalry. My camels come around the stakes. Very well. Send my pikes forward. Push my Sikhs around the flank to help out. Bring up the guns. There you go. All the enemy artillery gone. New man bombard the 38th. Newman advance attack the general's bodyguard. My pikes are going to tear those colonial militia apart. Newman 
you men form square? Royal Indian Infantry Guards haven't lost a man. Form square. Because they're going after my my own guns. Bring my pikes and such back. No, wrong unit. You men withdraw. Form line. Gunners limber up. enemy general wiped out. Okay, good. That, to me, looks like an enemy cavalry unit charging. And it is charging. How cute. Very well. Form up a new line. There you go, they're going to ride my pikemen down because they came on a bit faster than I thought they would. But once they start fighting, then they'll fall. New men cease fire. Advance the line. New men withdraw. Advance up the guns. There we go, get everyone back. You're not gunners, no, you're just in company infantry, that's okay. Good stuff. See him an open fire against the 27th. Yeah, they fired off a handful of shots. I mean, you men are reloading and can fire volleys. So I see enemy guns back here with lots of cavalry. I see enemy guns over here with more infantry. So we want to advance in quite a calm, consolidated manner against the new threats. Let's push forward into this unspoilt ground. There's a unit to our left that is still fighting. Pikemen attack the company infantry. There we go. That's kind of what I was expecting to happen. Newman advance. Something swordsman try and garrison the gun. Or well, not garrison the guns, just hold the position near the guns. These units form up. Form up one large battery. You men push up to help. And then my general advanced some of the clear ground on the flank. Good, everyone's moving up, except for this unit of Islamic swordsmen who are going to cover the guns. Who's that that's routing? Perfect, the militia are routing, so now the pikemen can get to work on the cavalry and get to destroying them before the enemy here. Actually, don't fire at will. To be honest, keep advancing. Form 
things are looking good. Although I might want to run the rest of my army if I wish to complete such a significant offensive. Don't give them time, Orm. You men are going to have to face that axis of attack. Yeah, the new men advance to the guns. I don't mind if we get into a bit of fisticuffs early. Push my pikes up the flank, cavalry behind the lines, fire at will on over their heads. Form square. Engage the enemy. So I want these pikemen specifically to go after light cavalry. You men hopefully knock out the 8th and then you'll fold into the combat here. Is that my swordsman hit the colonial dragoons and then hit blank? Try to get my general over here quickly. Yeah, if you men can break the Colonial Dragoons, that will provide us a very significant couple of units to push their flank. Push, don't attack, push. I want you to get more behind them. Okay, now attack, because it looks like you're not going to get that opportunity. Horsemen advance to knock out those guns. Seek musketeers form up to engage the flank. Cavalry hold up. Where's my pikes? Attack the colonial light cavalry. Horse artillery advancing up towards our lines. Okay, where's my cavalry again? Hold. Infantry guards defend this position. That's destroyed a unit. Another unit's going to go down. So which way do you guys retreat? Not a good way. Whoops, forgot about my camels. You guys are very much in the way. Retreat this way. Unlimber the guns and begin to pound the enemy positions. You men pivot. Engage the West India Company infantry. Bombard. Uh, 
and one of your units are stuck, are they? They are stuck. Okay, you men have wiped out the West India Company infantry. You men withdraw. Everyone else, push. So you men should be reloading. You'll be ready to engage the enemy soon as well. You men attack the guns. You men pound the new centre. There go the enemy guns. You men form up. No, oh, there's no easy way to get around this formation without going all the way around. But they're going to do it. Some holding shift to give orders. So that's why they've got this long order now. Canister shot. Blast them. Push up the swordsmen to attack the West India Company infantry. You men attack. Attack that unit. I'm feeling quite strong about my right flank. <laughs> now the rest of the crew are finally catching up. You guys are going to be out of commission now. I need to be mobile. These are elite Islamic swordsmen. These aren't rubbish. I don't need another general. Pushing up. To hell with their stamina. I mean, they're going to cleave through these chaps as well. A very elite pike, but in some more junior Sikh warriors. You men attack the gunners, you men can both attack the colonial militia. Cease fire those gunners, because they've just killed a bunch of my own guys as well. There we go, gun crew are killed. No. Attack the 63rd, because then they're going to be sandwiched between two melee units. The 11th foot have come back. You men attack the 7th. You men push up and engage them. You men attack the guns. You men both attack the 7th as well. There you go. Sandwiched between... Islamic swordsman on one front and guard infantry on the other. Hindu musketeers attack the 11th. These guys are just getting swarmed. There's one last gun crew left. Can they fire before my Hindu musketeers hit them? No, they haven't reloaded yet. Excellent.
Lent. And with the death of the 11th comes the blistering success of our attack on Jamaica. Nice, very, very nice. So that's destroyed them without damaging our second army. Oh, 4,000 kills. We lost 1,800 men. Who got the most? Islamic swordsmen just... My melee infantry just went absolute ham. So you men can attack the city, draw in the reinforcements as much as you can. It looks like, actually, these guys won't be drawn in, but that's okay. We'll fight and take the city. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to... For the, I believe that will be for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.